thing that are impossible, the thing that money cannot buy, they are the thing that he has done for me. What my papa cannot do, what my mama cannot do, he will do it again and again. Now back to you, be all that glory. To you, Jesus, receive all that honor. To you, ancient of days, be all that glory and adoration forever. Do you know how many who want you dead? Do you know how many when they see you? They keep imagining about what I did to her, about what I did to him. She's still alive, and you cannot pray. Not that you are righteous, but God loves you unconditionally. Wait here for do. Do you know there are some sickness they call expensive sickness? I heard where somebody say use about 12 point something million to take care of himself. Yet the sickness no finish. But what of you when you get 100,000? Now food, now you they ask. No, because everywhere you do like this, you are blessed. Another thing that looks like this is this. When you make vow and refuse to pay your vow. Very dangerous. And meanwhile, more especially when God has answered you over what you are asking for. And you are not the one owing God. He can stand against you. When battle break out, you call God, call God, heaven will lock. Because he will look at you like unfaithful servant. The problem we have as believers, we are not sincere to our promises. We will say something before God when we are in pain. But when God deliver us, we run away. And check those ones who are faithful. Watch how God is fighting your battle. Because when we are talking about those who are not faithful, there are still many who are still faithful. When they say something, they don't go back to it. They will stand for it. And you, that kind of way, I encourage you, don't go back. Don't allow anything to discourage you. And then people will tell you, say you are a fool. Don't worry. And that's why there are things you are doing for God. Don't relate it to people. Let it be alone with God. I remember a woman in the early stage of my ministry who cried for a male child. It was so difficult. She made a vow of what she wanted to do for God on the altar if God give her a baby boy. She made that vow over and over while I was praying for her because I told her you need to make vow. You need to commit God. Make sure what you do. She vowed something. She said, the day I will dedicate this baby, that's what will be on the altar. Then I was a member. She attended our church. She attended when it's a fellowship. But men and brethren, did you know? After all, God gave her a male child. Miraculously. The day of dedication, I, I decided to go because I'm a worker in my church then. I don't like moving out on Sunday. But I told my pastor that I won't be around. After Sunday school, I left. I wanted to witness. God, God asked me to go confirm what she vowed. Then I don't have the boldness to confront anybody. But I was shocked and surprised. When we danced, Richard, I was looking around the altar. I couldn't find the, the thing. On Monday, I, I someone called her. I said, Sister, you didn't do it. He said, You know, as things be after my delivery, this one, you know. He said, I'll go still do them more. I'll go still do them. But when things improve, eh? He's not the doctor that gave you baby, but you paid the hospital to be. Some of us said, we go make our vow when we are pregnant. But because we deliver through operation, he said, Pastor, you know, I paid 300,000. You paid to doctor, right? Doctor and God, who is more important? Yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to tell you, what did doctor do? Eh? If not be that doctor. And I think not that doctor. Forget, say, if God didn't control the doctor, something would have gone wrong. You never see where a doctor, so a woman enter operation, baby die, and, and mother die. Trouble us. 
You want get sense. Now God, you want to make sense of. He believes that when you put it on the altar, and a pastor you give. Did you know at the time? She, I hear her say, I go see one, another boy. Guy. I, I realized, I said, when after prophecy, we know the one that is real. She conceived three times. It was girl. Nobody tell her to stop before he full house with girls. You know, at times I have to talk to you, that he may not like it, but that's the reality. It's not play for anything given, whether in the church, your tithes, your offering to people you are better than. So, anyhow, God led, because many times, when God leads us to beg people, would they beg? But when God leads us to give people, we know they give them. Today, you know they hear me. Oh. Many of us, if God said, Go beg that brother money, you go go beg and say, I beg, I beg. But when God said, Give that sister money, I say, Blood of Jesus. Mark one, not say yesterday. This is my money. Why won't they go on it tomorrow? Holy Ghost fire. Nah. You know they hear that one. You who always want people to bless you. Let me ask them, and those of you watching me all over the world, have God ever talked to you to bless somebody? And have you ever obeyed? Leave it to yourself. If God have never tell you one day to bless people, how do you think God can tell people to bless you? Even some about pure water, eh? we are stingy. Pure water. Tap water, make a fetch one bucket. Ah! Generator, light today. I know you hear me. And if you cannot offer water, that is the most common thing between the hands of rich and the poor, is water. If you can't offer water, tell me whether I mean A bottle of mineral, I think a hundred naira. Abi? But do you know a jerry can of water is still ten naira? But you can you drink one jerry can of water? But one bottle of Pepsi no reach you. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. For you have done for me. Oh Lord, I am very, very happy. I am saying thank you. Oh Lord, I am very, 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 very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh Lord, I am very, very happy. I am saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Whatever I am now, it is by your grace. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Whatever I am now, it is by your grace. Amen. Thank you, my Lord. Hey. Thank you, my Lord. Yes, I like. Whatever I am now, it is by your grace. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Whatever, Whatever I, am I am now, it is by your grace. She make me more a woman, but I'm not letting you get in But if you know you are happy in your life, Boba, 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 do you know how to clap for Jesus at all? Kaya, he is worthy of a praise. He did not end up, oh, 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 you are the reason I'm happy 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 Almighty Father you are the reason I'm happy El Shaddai you are the reason I'm happy Ebu begi ba te be kero guwe, hongwa aluwa, honye kere kere wero wea, honye burisha 
Hear me. What I'm trying to say is this. Don't just end it here. I know you are looking for baby never come, but thank God you are alive. Go much to see some mothers with their children who have left the earth. You are looking for money. No money. Thank him you are alive. Even when you have money, no life, you can't enjoy it. Even when you're born seven, no life, you can't train them. 